Okay, that's awesome. Okay. That'll work. You run your body cam? I, I am now because I don't know how legit you are at the moment. That's okay. Special agent hat. The FBI. Okay. You got that on body cam? I do, but I don't understand what the problem is with you meet me at the office. I'll talk to the U.S. Attorney's Office about it. You can cut off the recording device now. Okay. Well, I will when I leave the area, sir. Hey, TJ. This guy is uh, telling me to turn my body camera off and telling me he's going to contact other people to get Quick, involved with this. Let me get his tag number real quick. It's going to be LKST57. LKST57. 33 Franklin, 1065, Florida 28. No, he's telling me to turn my camera off. Lima, Kilo, Sierra, Tango 57. I got 703 out here with me. Alright, well, he's he's leaving the area, but I guess, but it's a blue Ford Fusion, Ford Taurus. So, he says he does not give out business cards. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe this. No. Uh, there's something fishy with this right here. He's got a radio, and he's got credentials. Uh, 33, go ahead. Yeah, he told me to turn my body camera off because he, he didn't want that running and uh so now he's no he's still here he's looking at me franklin 33 that four to 28 lincoln kilo sierra tango five seven she was played on 2015 absolutely four, not four door still now he's dark saying, blue and color now he's saying i'm trying to detain him to i've never i've never told you i was detaining you that's on camera field. that you are staying he here willingly sir 630 of 20 51 29 on that vehicle franklin does that come back to any government agency this is easy to come by it just advises Advanced Wiring Company. Do you work for a Doesn't wiring company? It's a covert vehicle, sir. Okay. I do feel like I'm being detained. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You're the one who called me here, sir. How yeah. did you get my phone number? I can't give you that information. I no, saying he can't tell me how he got my information. Hey. You are detained at this time, sir. 33 Franklin. I got one whiskey mic detained at this time. 17's on the way. Hey, I don't think this guy's legit, man. Do I have permission to take it off? No, you don't have permission okay. to take it Just hang tight. Right, I'm not cuffing you. I'm not cuffing you. But you're being very uncooperative with me. I, you asked me to come up here. You called my personal cell phone number. You, do, you can't tell me how you got it. Your vehicle is coming back to a wiring company, not the it's FBI. A covert vehicle. Okay. You Dude, get would mad you at, like to see some registration? You get mad at me would because you, I turned my body like camera to, on. Would you like to see some registration? And you know a lot of stuff about me. Would you like to see the registration, sir? I, I don't really want anything from you at this point. My supervisor's on the way. Excellent. Do you have identification? I surely do. I showed it to him. Would I, you like to see it, sir? That's fine. You don't have to keep your hands up. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I don't to want to be shot out here. I don't want to be shot either. I'm going to call my office. Yes, sir. Them. Jacksonville, this is Special Agent Haddon. Thirty-three, Franklin. Just forty-three. This individual's saying his name is Special Agent Haddon out of Jacksonville from the FBI. He keeps getting on his radio, but I do not hear any traffic coming back from the other end. Does he have a twenty-seven? You want me to run? Jacksonville. 
I do hear something coming back now. That 28 is going to be his uh, 28 from earlier. Lima, Kilo, Sierra, Tango, 57. Be advised that contact to Advanced Wiring Company out of Jacksonville. I believe I need to have a supervisor. 10 4. He's saying that this is coming back to that because it's a covert vehicle. Do you have a DL on that subject? Do you have a driver's license on you, sir? Do you have a driver's license? He's refusing right to there. give his 27 at this time, Franklin. If he's not giving you his tag, you're going to be paid. Just go ahead and get it from him if he's got it on him. So you're forcing me to give you my driver's license? That's what my captain just just okay. asked me to get it from right. you. Right. We need to find out who he is. Yeah, there you go. He could just be somebody who's you know, trained the FBI. Running. Absolutely, yes, sir. Give me something more to him. Forty three, sir. This subject's being very uncooperative, yeah, Frank. Would you let the ASAC and would you let uh, Larry Dan? Yeah, I'm back. Be... Hey, Larry. Get his law enforcement credentials and his supervisor's phone number. Twelve. He's refusing to give any information. For the supervisor to come speak to you. For supervisor to come speak to. Him. LT, he ain't provided credentials, but he's refusing to give any kind of business card or any kind of contact info with. Who he's affiliated with. They want a business card. I told him I don't give out business cards. 10 4, that's on you. I showed him badge and credentials. He's got his body camera going. 951 to 33 location now. So, I don't know what to do. I'm in Carabelle. I gave him my 10, my 10, 27, 10 Southeast Avenue. Everyone I've ever stopped is a fed. They had a block on their 28. And uh, you would get a phone call as quick as you ran it. that case, uh, that we, we have on record, I can't talk about it. I've got two off. That's it. Okay, sounds good. 26 to 33. 33, go ahead. If you're able to text me a picture of his 27, I'm on the PX with a federal contact now. He didn't tell me not to. He told me that you needed to set this up through the officer, and you refused to do that and acted no, like it was a problem. Right. Six oh seven Franklin. Will you check see if that uh twenty nine old Shelly Wilson showed up yet from uh, state probation? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He said seventeen's coming? Yeah. Twenty six, I'm attempting to send that now. Franklin, for your 43 also, this subject advised that he could not tell me how he got my personal cell phone number. <clears throat> Franklin, 607. Be advised. The front office is advising they have 29s on Shelly Wilson. They're trying to enter now. 
Damn, bro. Franklin, for 43, my body camera was not on at the entire time of this call. I turned it on whenever I suspected something was not right with this. Just for 43, he's not placed in handcuffs, Franklin. I just told him he's not free to leave. This is my dispatch, Jasper. Yes, sir. Careful. KB280, KB280, I'm still uh, being held here, uh, waiting for a supervisor to arrive in Franklin County. So I'm still here with uh, Deputy Ralph Gordon and a Caravel PD officer with KB dispatch. Franklin 25. Franklin 35. Go ahead. I'm at substation. Can I have you to one to 183rd Street? 183rd Street. Reference to uh, Premises Check. Yeah, that's not how we had it. June Coveney at 653-8825. 653-8825. She's advised that her son is living in a camper in her yard and there's subjects there that she wants to be removed. He doesn't know what's going on, but uh, he doesn't know what, that I've been detained by Ralph. Uh, I was getting ready to send him an email about my contact with him, but uh, I can't go in there. Well, I'm going to take more than that. 35 off, I can get him. I can't. No, no, no. I'm here to interview Ralph Gordon. And uh, Ralph got in the car and then once I told him what I was here to do, he said he needed to check his CAD to see what the report said because he wanted to be accurate in his report. So Ralph Gordon is a deputy with Franklin County Sheriff's Department. And so he got out of the car. He's standing here listening to this all, by the way. So I've got, he's got his body camera running. I'm outside the car because they wanted to know if I was armed. He wanted to take my weapon. Um, so anyway, so... I never asked for your weapon, sir. You told me you had one on you. You said you wanted to take it off of me, didn't you, sir? I asked well, you for well, permission well, once. Yeah. You said that you had one. You I never asked you. Right. So anyway, Larry. So, uh, so the deputy gets out of the car, goes to the yeah. car, gets in it. I guess he calls his supervisor. His supervisor says that this is not the place to interview him. That I have to arrange it through their office to talk to him at his office. I tell him that's fine. I said I'll contact the U.S. Attorney's Office, and the U.S. Attorney's Office will be in contact with him. Then he asked for a business card. I tell him I don't give out business cards. And then it escalated from there to where these guys are holding me until a, a supervisor gets here. I guess it finds out. Any word on that 43 call? I can't tell them why I'm here. Exactly. Fifty-four. The before I tried to log on the voicemail. Yeah. He says something fishy about this. He activated his, uh, his body camera. I asked him to deactivate it, but I'm glad it's been on because he's been recording this the entire time. So thank goodness it has been on. Well, you can't call anybody in the PD because the PD is just here backing this guy up. It's Franklin County that's holding him, so you have to call the sheriff. To let him know that his deputies have been stopped here and are holding me. He's going to ask why. You're not going to be able to tell. Yeah, what, what's the front office number for, for AJ? It is 850-670-8500. You want to press 1, right? Yep, and press one, and that'll he says, go. He says press one, I guess, to get some. Go ahead. If he didn't have it set up, I'm surprised. Matt, did you get that 43 from a uh, Sergeant Register? I'm on the PX now. Yeah. Yeah. So these guys are all hooked up, 
And uh, like I say, uh, I'm not sure what's going on behind the scenes, but I, he told, did you tell, did you tell your sergeant that I was here about a ticket that you had issued? I told him that you were here to investigate me about an issue, and he said this needed to be handled through the office, not on the side of the road. And you said, said yeah, and you well, said that that, that wasn't going to happen. You were going to contact somebody else. I was going to contact the U.S. Attorney's Office. That's okay. correct. Yeah. And then we're just trying to check your validity. You you are you called a deputy sheriff's personal cell phone. You can't tell me how you got the number. That's right. Your tag's not coming back to the FBI. Correct. Okay. I haven't seen a badge. I've seen an ID card. I haven't seen a badge. You have not seen. No, no sir. I haven't seen a badge. I, I've seen an ID well, card. I handed this to you. Did you grab it? Take it out of my hand. Do you not see a badge? I see a badge now. That's the first time I saw oh, the badge, sir. Well, you don't need okay. to be a deputy. I saw this. He kept opening this. Yeah. That's called okay. my badge and my credential. Okay. That's very professional you to say that statement. But anyway, uh, that I, I was very observant to be a deputy because you never showed me that. You showed me the inside of it, uh, but not the badge. Are you hearing all this, Larry? Oh, everybody's going to hear all this, sir. Are you still there? 3317, what's your 20? Okay, I am. Okay, sounds good. Yep. What did he say? I couldn't hear. Who? Did you want to know what I said? No, sir, I was okay. talking about my supervisor. Okay. 26, Franklin, myself, 17, out with 33. That's not AJ. That's the su supervisor. <clears throat> hey, brother, would you turn around and get those vehicles for me as they're coming up? I'm not going to turn around right now. Okay. Right, yes, sir. I got it right here. Okay. Just hanging on to it till we get it all figured out, sir. Let me go see what TJ. Hey, I. So I come up. And uh, okay, okay. He's, on the he, he's on. Uh huh. Huh? Call dispatch and say I need to meet somebody here. No, he called my personal phone. Okay, he, he called, called my personal phone. personal phone and said he needed to meet with him. That he was investigating me he's for a ticket that I wrote. Police corruption and was requesting a copy of the ticket. He's saying he's armed, but he. The tag, I haven't the seen tag a gun yet. Vehicle. You want me to keep standing up here? He's saying he's armed. He's got a little badge, and he's got, it says FBI on it, and he's got a credential when he opens it up. This is his license. Seriously? I swear to the Lord Jesus. So he's on the phone. He's got a radio. Do you have a picture of his friends? No, he's refusing to show up now. Yeah, he's very uncooperative. And he previously ordered the deputy to turn off his body. Yeah. I didn't have it on to begin with because I thought this was a legitimate thing. Uh, he didn't answer. I've got a picture of the guy's DL and I've got a picture of the photo that pops up on the watch list. <laughs> Did he call the deputy's personal cell phone? Yes. Yes. 1326. Oh, yeah. 10-4. Advise him that this dispatch is trying to transfer that call to me. Called you. I was printing out the original report. There's a B on you, TJ. Mm -hmm. There's a B on you. Hey. Hey, I'm transferring the Border Patrol to you. Border Patrol. That's who you have at the bottom of that number, says. Okay. Border Patrol officer and immediately call. Okay? All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
swear to God. Is he in handcuffs? Hello. Hello. Hey, Sandy's got Hello. a weapon on him, hey, too, this though. Is, hey, this is Detective Coleman with Special Investigations in Franklin County. How are you? Good. How are you today, sir? Uh, we're all right. We're just trying to figure out what's going on with this gentleman we're currently out with. Okay. Uh, your dispatch just sent me through here. Uh, I think I might have got the guy's name wrong. Is his name Alexis? Like yes. Yes. A L E X I S. Yes. Hatton. H A T T E N. E N. Okay, that's one. And it's six twenty sixty three. Yes. Yes. He's hitting on uh, something in the CIT. I believe when they ran his Florida driver's license, he came back hot on the terrorist watch list. There's somebody talking back to him on that radio in there, but... The middle name is Gregory? That's correct. Yes. Um, what's, what's that nick number that he's hitting on? Do you, did you write that down? I do not have it in front of me. Somebody's talking back to him on the radio. Right but right. Turn around for him, brother. Okay. Turn around. Okay. Like that. All right. All right. Just being detained. You don't have any yet, You're but right now we're running sir. you through multiple federal databases. Yeah. Okay, nobody's coming up with your name. You're also coming back on a terror watch list. So we're going to secure you for our protection and yours. We're going to put you in the back of a police car. Where, where's that weapon at, sir? It's, it's, right on, it's on my right side, brother. You got any other weapons on you, sir? Uh, no, just my wallet. All right, I'm just going to pat you down sure, real quick. Go ahead. What if somebody pulls your name up, brother? You're good to go. Yeah, we're just trying to verify you. Well, since you don't want to give us no info for nobody to contact. That's just the wallet that I you were showing me a while ago. Yeah, that's my wallet. Don't touch that uh, thing right there. That's my uh, law enforcement. It's got all my notes on it for what I've done today. You're not allowed to see that. I'm not allowed to see what? Well, if I you know. go to jail, I'm going to impound this to the, to the sheriff's office. I'm going to get a search warrant. I'm going to touch everything. Yeah, good. All right. All right. He's clear. Name again, my name's Sergeant Carroll. Okay. Hey, we own Y'all don't lose that badge. You my telephone's on there, okay, brother? Franklin, the five. All right, just pull that hat out, too. John. Are you able to take a call from FBI? Just take the whole rack down. Uh, just stick it on top of it. Come over here. And that jacket. 10 4 he's going to transfer it to you, sir. 10 33 Franklin, we've, we've uh, detained this whiskey mic and got him in cuffs in the back of the car now. Twenty six Franklin if that federal agency calls back, let them know I gave them all the information I had. I had to take a phone call from another federal agency. So yeah, here I'll I'll tell you two at the same time. I so call your this partner. guy calls my personal cell phone mm -hmm. and goes, hey, I need to talk to you about some stuff go I got going on in Caribou today. I heard yeah, that, are you working in the Caribou area today. I said, yes, yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I said, yes, sir, I'm working in Caribou. Hey, Coleman, if you grab that gun, we'll throw it in the back seat of your truck. Was it, well, was it on him or in the car? It was on his oh. right hip. He had a holster. The DA guy was asking me if he was claiming to be armed. He, he is. He's so... So he goes, I said, where are you wanting to meet me at? And he goes, uh, he says, uh, I think it's the new substation. I said, the new the new police department? He goes, yeah, I want, you know, he wasn't real sure. I'm like, okay. So I went down there. Uh, he had just called me and like, hey, man, what's up? I said, I got to go meet this guy. He's investigating something. He's hollering. I can't see in there. 
Yes, sir. There, brother. Okay, okay. All right, I'm turning it on right brother, now. Open the door. I can't breathe. Sir, I can't open the door. You're brother. being detained right now. 26 Franklin, 1065, serial number. Yellow Glock, 19. I got the air on full blast, sir. 6 to question 530. What is that gentleman's name you got detained? It ain't the heat. Two one one. What's up? You haven't cooperated with anything we've done. What's that gentleman's name you got detained? It's gonna be Alexis Hatton. Alexis Hatton. Do you have your body camera on still, brother? Absolutely, it ain't going off. Thank you, brother. Look, I beg it for you, turn the air. I am, you're burning me up, brother. I had the defroster on. No, you didn't. Brother, I need air. God almighty. Five to 33. I know you think this is funny, but it won't be funny after the day. 33, go ahead. I'm on the phone with this supervisor out of Tallahassee, or he's out of, uh, this gentleman is out of Panama City District, but I'm on the phone with his supervisor, uh, he is a, he is legit. 10 so we can, so they just said, 10 Alright, that's what I'm doing right now. They just called back, sure. So y'all gonna go ahead and let him go? What's he doing here? He is legit. 10 4 5. Uh, I'm going to handcuff him now. Uh, Captain Webb just called. Who verified? Captain Webb. I don't know. 33 to 5. Could you advise me who verified that this person was legit? What's he doing? What's he? He called me here, Sheriff, and says he called my personal cell phone. And he goes. I don't know. He he refuses to tell me. Okay. Uh, he said I I'm I need to discuss some things uh, that's happened in the care belt. His area. name is Lawrence Lynn, and he's down in his area said, on an assignment. I said okay. He's out, right. Lawrence Lynn, he's out of Tallahassee on the FBI. Man, you know. Who's he talk? Who's he talk? Who's his way of talking? Jacksonville on his little mobile radio. He's a supervisor of, of the gym that y'all are out with. Oh, that's the supervisor. Like the I can't talk to you right now, TJ. I'm on the phone with, with his but supervisor. But he told me, I need to discuss some things with you about the Carabelle area. Are you working over here today? Franklin, I said, yes, sir. you did advise with Lawrence. So he told you? me to meet him here. I came up. He said, can you, do you mind me sitting in my car with me real quick? He showed me. He flipped open his wallet sure we and it showed it. credentials. It didn't show a he didn't show a badge, but it showed FBI in his name. So I came in there, and he goes, I need to discuss a, a ticket on a Maryland Bing that you wrote which is a ticket that I wrote, yeah. but I actually rescinded it. Uh, I said, okay. Um, I said, do you mind if I go pull it up on my on my CAD so I can recall what's going on here because I know you can't tell me about it and I want to get it right. So I went in there. At the same time I'm pulling up the report, I called TJ. I said, hey, is this... Should I be getting interviewed on the side of the road or should he be doing something else? And TJ says he needs to go through the front office and set up an interview time. Well, as soon as I told the gentleman that you need to set up an interview time, he goes, that's all right. I'm just going to call the state attorney on your, he called the U.S. Attorney. Uh, US attorney on you. So then I activated my body camera. I didn't have it on the whole five time. 54 5. Um, I turned it on when he told me that. Right away. He's down here on official business. So y'all can let him go. Let him go about let him go. his way. 10 4. All right, sir. Call 911. Call, I need a medical attention right now. Unlock me. Call, call 911. Call 911. We're, we're releasing you right no, now, sir. No, call 911 now. Call 911. I need 33. 30, 30, 30. 30. I'm sitting there begging you to cut off your freaking we're, heat. We're releasing him now. He's requesting EMS to respond at this time. Franklin to 33, can you give me an exact address? We're at the We're new, at the new substation for the sheriff's office, Franklin. Jacksonville, I need 911. 
I've asked for help. I've been in the car. They've had me smoking in the back. 10 4, can you advise if it's next door to the new dollar store? That's 10 4. Can you verify that my AC is on real quick, John? It's on now. It, it was on when. I, how could I not touch? How could I not touch it? It's on. Yeah. 911. I asked for the sheriff's to call 911. They won't. They won't call through the back seat. Yeah. I, I would guess my window is open back there. Yeah, but we need a location, sir. 17 on South East Avenue, East Clarabelle. Does anybody have water? I've got some water in here. That's a sealed water, sir. Did they ever say they got EMS on the way? He's requesting EMS. 33 Franklin, could you advise that you've contacted EMS? Franklin to 33, be advised EMS is en route. 10 4, thank you. He's been like this the whole time. That's why I didn't feel like he was legit. Right. Like we called as soon as he said. You did, you did. Yeah. You let him know you messes in route. Yeah, they're they're on. He heard me call on the radio. Ten four, you can put me back ten eight. Condition corrected. Ten four. He, he's been like this the whole time. He's been like double talking and. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, they let me out of the back of the car. The picture of him popped on the hot list. The picture of his credentials to the DEA guy. We work with the DEA guy. Contacted people. He knows what the FBI and Canada he is. He is. Yeah. He is legit. But just, just the way, the way he's been acting like this, he's just. You've been verified. You can put your weapon back in the holster. Yeah, you, you've been verified now. Okay, brother, I'm just, I'm not sure, I just don't drive a car now, I, I'm not sure I don't know, I'm not sure I don't know, 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 I don't
Seven Lima, this is KEV two zero. So we have some overlapping um, radio calls from Gainesville area. Could you please repeat your last message? Jack from the Rocks, this is Seven Lima. Hey, we need to get an ambulance to Special Agent Hatton. Uh, Caribou Florida, seven one zero Southeast Avenue. He is in Bravo, US ninety eight. Uh, he feels lightheaded, not in any condition to drive. Over. Can you please call? You said it was Caribou. Roger, Caribou Florida. Over. Of water. Yeah. You need, you need another bottle of water, sir? No? I got... I can't see. I lost my vision. Thirty-three Franklin, just for forty-three. This individual is claiming to have lost his vision now. Ten four. hollered earlier. It was on cool, but it was on defrost. So I switched it to vents, and he said it's still hot. Like, that's as cool as I can get it. So I even got John to go in there and stick his head in because that's AC. I had printed out the report and everything and was fixing to go back and I was just asking you, hey, should this be done here or should it be done somewhere else in another set? Yeah. You're right, you're exactly what I told you. Uh, can they get in here? Or I hear them coming from Lanark, I think. Think they can get in. Is Matt going to move his? Yeah. Thirty-three Franklin EMS ten ninety seven. Ten four ten ninety seven. Thirty-three Franklin. When this call is ninety eight, could you print out this and save this for me? Ten four.
Good afternoon. Says he can't see. Yeah. And the nominees for best actor. He did you see him? He pulled me into his car. He asked me to come into his car. Well, I was sitting over there. I didn't hear him say that. But and uh, I do remember you going around. So I go in there. He goes, I need to discuss this ticket that you wrote. So you I wrote said, a ticket to a CI, I guess. Is that what happened? I don't. I don't know. That's what I'm assuming. So I said, "You mind if I print it out so I can, so I can recall it?" Sure. So I go ahead and print it out, and I call the supervisor. I said, "Hey, is it right for him to be interviewing me on the side of the road, or should he be doing this somewhere else?" He goes, "No, he needs to schedule this through the office." I told him that. And, and who said that, right. Captain? T.J. Yeah. And uh, he pulled over to get you guys. You guys pulled him over. Yeah, it's a it's a long story. Uh, so he called me on my phone to meet with me about a matter. Uh, Max, we got your number. And he was questioning me on a ticket that I wrote. He said he worked for another agency, which turns out to be legit, but at the time, we didn't know. So I called my supervisor here. The decision was made to uh, detain him while we were checking his legitimacy yeah. and uh, we put him in the back and uh, after that he started complaining of uh, shortness of breath vision loss uh, and whatever else he's got going on that's and that's that's up uh, and he claims I had the heat on in the car uh, but I don't where do you want to go uh oh No, it's an official. It's, I don't. I just don't know what he's acting like this for because he's being so uncooperative. Yeah, with everybody. I, I assume, That's why I didn't I think he was, he was going to come back goofy like that or not on file. But he's legit. But I don't understand why. Dementia. Make sure I got his. I don't know what you're talking about. Get him whatever's mine, my gun and stuff. Uh, you got your wallet in your pocket? You said it's a schedule. Yeah, I do have his. I'm going to have to secure that weapon. That's his fault. That's a little pivot. What's y'all's unit? Uh, What's y'all's unit number? Rescue three. Rescue three. And where y'all going to, sir? TMH. Yes. TMH.
take it to St. Kevin. Is this still running? Is this still running? Give the keys to him. Yeah. Turn it off, give the keys to him, lock it up. And uh, I'll take this to the office. All right. You may get both sets. There's one on the dashboard, too. Oh, sir. Hey, he's got three sets of keys here. I didn't want him to leave without. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, there's the third one. back of the ambulance. Ten four. He he was very non legit acting, that's why no, you know, I mean, he was so very non-legit. He non -legit. wouldn't give you a business card, wouldn't give you a supervisor. Told you and he, he, direct, he, he said, you need to turn that body camera off right now. I said, I'm not turning it off till you leave. So, because no, I originally didn't have it on. I thought he was legit. You know, he's got the card. And I'm going to just start turning the thing on for everybody I talk to, yeah. I swear. I thought he, you know, he turned out being legit, but it, all, it, it really looked it like he was. It would have been a whole lot better had he told us, hey, just, look, here's what you call him. Right. But he didn't want to cooperate with anything. And when he come, when the name that he gave us, and come back to him, and come up on that watch list, yeah. It come up, y'all, Jason called me and said, this name, if, if this picture matches the photo y'all got, which it did, he's got it. Mm -hmm. He said, this guy's on a terror watch list, says for law enforcement use extreme caution. Really? Yeah. So he is on But a... then they said his name was completely different. Oh, really? Yeah. But whoever uh, Captain Webb talked to said he was... But they verified it. So. Right. At first, whenever he was talking on the radio, I couldn't hear anybody because I don't know if you heard me or not. I said, Franklin, he's talking on the radio, but I can't hear any radio traffic coming back. <laughs> well, then he turned it up, and then I could hear it, but that still don't mean because just the way he was acting. Yeah, I called you as soon as I went to go print it out, and I'm like, this don't really feel right getting interviewed on the side of the road. Supervisor hadn't told me about it. Let me call a supervisor and see, can he do this? I'm fine with it if he can, but I wanted to let somebody know, hey, somebody's interviewing me about a ticket. And it, and it's a ticket and that didn't have, even go through. he went through them first, and like you said, they told us, hey, look, he's going to be meeting with you. Right. But I didn't know anything about it. He called my personal phone. He won't tell me. I asked him, sir, how did you get my personal cell phone number? I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that. 
See that right there? Yeah. Tell you. And then I just didn't feel like he was he was legit because of all the it didn't seem like the it. actions. The I'm going blind and it's you've got the heat on in here and all this craziness. I'm like this guy does not act like an agent right here. So unless after all this is gonna say, see how I act? That's how I want you to act when you go undercover for us. <laughs> so I I just didn't believe he was legit because of all that stuff. ticket on her. What was the charge? It was a ticket for hit and run. But uh, I determined, I felt like that she really didn't do it on purpose as far as leaving the scene. Mm -hmm. So I took the ticket back. And she didn't even get the ticket. That's weird. But 